Hello, welcome to a brand new tutorial from AZF TV. It's Ahmed. Today I'm going to explain to you some common crypto terminologies that you've been hearing on the internet, especially when you come to CoinMarketCapitalization.com. Over here you can find the market cap, the circulating supply, the total supply. I know it's been bothering your mind trying to understand it and it's not working so I've taken it upon myself to explain this terminology to you for you to understand and also establish a relationship between these two indicators or two or three or four indicators okay so actually you can find the relationship between them, the two uh, these two indicators with, re with respect to the price on my channel I've done a video about it as a crypto market price uh, analysis I try to establish an equation between the market capitalization the security supply and the price of the crypto you need to understand all these things before you invest in crypto okay so quickly let's start now the first terminology is maximum uh, supply. What's maximum supply? It says this is the total amount of tokens or coins that were originally created by the developer. It represents the amount of tokens that will exist perpetually in the lifetime or lifespan of the crypto. So this is what the developer actually created. Whenever there is a cryptocurrency, there is a live band or there is a, a total amount that could be spent in the life of uh, the crypto. Every crypto has that. When you look at Shibnobi, you can find the total maximum supply over here. It's 69 sextillion. 69 sextillion. So when you go to the holders, you can find out that this is the dead wallet. You can find out that they burnt uh, 29 sextillion out of the 69 sextillion so once you go to their website they will show you that we have only this in circulation i'll come and explain this concept to you so when you say total supply the total amount of token the developer created actually okay so let's move on what's the band supply the band supply it says this is the amount of token that have been taken out of the maximum supply to a dead wallet. The act of transferring token to a dead wallet in order to reduce the supply is what we call burning. So when you hear people using, we burn this token out of it, we burn this, we burn this, it's not the literal burning that we know something. It means we are actually sending some amount of the token that was created by the developer to a dead wallet a null address such that it will cut down the circulating supply and it says this is normally done to create a positive impact on the price so as you can see over here i did it in this analysis over here so for the price to go up it means the circulating supply must come down and that's the mechanism that most tokens use every token who has a large supply but day in day out when are being burned to this null address so this is the dead wallet this is the dead wallet and with this coin they've been able to burn 29 sextillion out of 69 sextillion you understand so when you go down here you can find out that they are saying that three percent reflection does go directly to this reason so these are the reflection these are the burning percentages over here you have five percent liquidity provider plus three percent and this for the marketing fee understand but with um bitcoin actually the total supply is 21 million everyone who has been in the game for long knows that there is only 21 million that's the maximum supply currently we have only 18 circulation so we have less than 2.1 left 2.1 million bitcoin left to be spent okay so that's what we call the band supply this concept actually works with tokens and small cryptocurrencies the major ones don't undergo burning as in automatic burn it can be a manual one but 
Yes, it's normally these tokens, Shibnoba, Shiba, Saitama, and the likes that has this mechanism. Because they normally do that to cut down the circulation supply so as to increase the market capitalization to make the price go up. Okay, let's move on to the total supply. So what's the total supply? There's a difference between maximum supply and total supply. Total supply is the amount of tokens that are available for investors. So this amount is arrived by deducting the amount of token taken out of uh, circulation, that's the burn supply, from the total amount of coin that was created by the developer. So when, when the, you are saying that the total supply is the amount that is available to anyone who wants to buy that coin. So when you look at Shibnobi, for instance, the total supply is 69. When we come here and look at the null address, you can find out that they've been 29 out of uh, circulation. So, there we go. So this means that the remaining, the remaining, when you take that 29 sextillion from this 69 sextillion, the remaining is the total supply sometimes the total supply can be equal to the circulating supply if and only if all the sp the coins have been spent on the market but normally there's a gap between the two a little okay so that's it so that's the total supply so is this is out of this that we or shinga army were able to buy what should know or should know be sorry okay so let's move on to the circulating supply he says this is the amount of token that is presently in the investors wallet so the economists will say that is the amount of money in circulation so it represents the amount of token dying dying while circulation so how much are people actually holding in their wallets all those some um, all those tokens sum up together makes up the circulating supply and we ship no be we can find it over here so there's the actual coin that's existing in investors wallets okay now let's move on to market capitalization there is a financial management uh, concept you are saying that there is the amount of fiat money as our local money, whether CD, whether Naira, whether Dallas, whether Euro, whether Pound, that have been invested into a cryptocurrency. In other words, is the amount of money investors have put in a coin or a token or a cryptocurrency. I will take time to explain the difference between a token and a coin. But for now, we just understand the two, the two as a cryptocurrency. Okay, when you come here. So Bitcoin is number one when it comes to coinmarketcapitalization.com. Bitcoin is number one over here with a price of forty-three thousand US dollars. The market cap is eight hundred and twenty-nine billion. It was actually one trillion. It has fallen down. So this is the price of Bitcoin currently. As you can see over here, we have the circulating mass supply to over here. Now there is a relationship between these two. I've done a video on that. You can check it within my video list. You find it over there. When you hold this market cap, this is the amount that people have invested into uh, the crypto. Okay. So when you hold this amount over the circulating supply, then you can get the price. This is how you ascertain the price. As I was saying, I've done a video about it. You can take your time and go through the video and understand the relationship between these mechanisms. So these are simple crypto terms that I wanted to explain to you for you to understand if you have any question or anything boggling your mind you can put it beneath the comment section and it will be addressed for you remember that anything on this EFTV is not financial advice remember to subscribe to this channel for more updates and for more information and educative information see you next time bye bye